So now moving on to image 21, we're going to need the inlet chute from our die cut. All right, and we're going to fold it along these folds. So fold the sides and also fold the end. And then we're gonna use some tape to tape it together. So first you're gonna wanna tape these little front flaps together. And then we're gonna tape these flaps in the back. So now we're gonna stick this shoot down up here. They can fit right in between these two five hole rods. Nice and snugly. And now we have image 22. So now we have our hammer mill. Now we're gonna do experiment seven, more water, more energy. So you're gonna wanna set up your hammer mill inside some kind of a shallow basin or plastic bin or do it outside because you're going to be using water. So you'll want to have a pitcher of water or some other water source easily available so you can pour it right into the chute. So you're going to set up the chute right in front of the water wheel and you can fold these five hole rods right around the chute so that you don't even have to hold it and then you're going to pour water right into it and watch what happens. So you'll see that it's turning the wheel and the shaft pin is also making the hammer go up and down. You can also change the steepness of the chute which will make the wheel go faster or slower. So now it's going to be steeper so the wheel is going to go faster.